Let's look at the Arduino Uno board. At the edge, you see all the socket pins where you can plug jumper wires into. First, there are several ground pins. Ground or grounding is the most important thing in electronics. So please remember where they are because all of your Arduino projects will start with grounding. Two sockets here and another one up here. They're all interconnected, so it doesn't matter which ground pins to use. There are also two more ground pins here and there, but they're not indicated. There are 14 digital I.O. pins. From the pin number 0 to 13. It might be confusing that the pin number 13 is actually the 14th pin because we count the pin number 0 as the first pin. These digital pins can be configured as an input or output. On the other side, there are six analog inputs, A0 to A5. They are inputs only. 3.3 volt and 5 volt DC power outputs are here. VIN, V-I-N, stands for voltage input, where you can connect a battery or any DC power source to operate the Arduino board without connecting it to the USB port. This is the reset button, which you can restart your Arduino program by pressing it and there's an onboard LED that we can control the light by programming the Arduino. There are some other pins and hidden functionalities of some of the pins that you may want to learn about later, but we are ready to explore programming the Arduino.